And there's plenty of room for that, I think. Yeah, it's just when that's the only thing, you know, like when that's the only thing anybody's obsessed with, I just start to roll my eyes and I just start to be like, all right, that's the only thing that matters. No, it isn't. You know, like the, the art matters more to me than that. Um, I, like I said, I just get kind of frustrated when it starts to affect the conversation around the art and what, what more importantly, not just the conversation, because people can talk about whatever they want and write about whatever they want more so when it starts to infect um, what's allowed to be made. So what movies are allowed to be made, what books are allowed to be published, you know, who's allowed to have a platform that became a very big deal recently, right? Like, oh, you can't do that because you're platforming people. Um, yeah, I think that's when it starts to become an issue and it's they're conflating two separate things, right? Like concern for uh, very serious things like sexism or racism with artistic endeavor and I think we need to be very careful uh, especially given where we are today of what how much we're emphasizing that you know that's really my only concern and I know it comes off differently when you know you can't control how everybody views me and I'm sure there's plenty of people that uh, don't view me in that light or don't view me in a very good light because of that but I, I just feel like it would be dishonest to not talk about it I feel like if people aren't mentioning this kind of suffocating feeling that I know a lot of people are feeling in these, in these institu more institutional circles. It's not as bad in the independent scenes because you know there's nobody kind of looking over your shoulder being like, that's not allowed in the independent scenes. But in the institutional settings, which are very important, like people will say, oh, screw that. I'm like, no, I'm not somebody who's saying screw the institutions either. You know, I'm not somebody who's saying, oh, these publishers don't know what they're doing. No, you know, I, I'm not on that. That's what I mean. It's, it's, I'm not really a part <laughs> of any of these groups. At least I don't think I am. Uh, or these, like, factions. Um, sometimes you get lumped into them. There's nothing you can do. But, yeah, I, I just, when, it, when we start to affect what's allowed to be made, what's allowed to be viewed, how you should view something. So your opinion on a work of art is less important, not because of, like, you know, anything you did, but because of these identitarian reasons over here that we're forcing into the work of art, that's when I start getting very upset with like, kind of like, no, you can't tell me what I, what to think. Like essentially, like if I think this about a work of art, like there's nothing that like, no context you can put on that it would change it in terms of that. Like I'm talking about the work of art. And that's why I always call myself kind of a radical formalist and kind of the death of the author. It's about what's on the page. It's about what's in front of me the work of art right in front of you. That's what matters. You know, we could talk about all this other stuff, the context, but I think what really matters is the thing right in front of you right now. What do you think of it? You know, is it good? Is it bad? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? You know, and there's plenty of room to talk about identitarian stuff on top of that. But when it becomes the only thing that's allowed to be talked about, I think it really does a disservice, not just to the writers and the artists that are putting in the time and energy and effort, but I think to the larger cultural world where people like us that really love art get a lot of meaning out of it. Uh, it's being pushed aside for something that I think is a trend and is going to go away in 10 years, five years. So I, I just try to not be too captured by anything that's going on with, with that. And it, it's hard, you know, I can't say that I haven't been. Sure, I've been wrong plenty of times, uh, especially in the kind of social media ecoscape, you know, there's something goes viral and everybody just believes it, you know? And then you learn weeks later, oh, that actually isn't what happened, blah, but it's too late. Like, there is no correcting that already. It just kind of spreads like wildfire. And then it just, yeah, that's, that's another reason I would call it hysteria, where people just get kind of worked up into a frenzy based on, you know, one little clip that they saw, 30-second clip that they saw, and, um, you know, that's just, I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. You just, if you're going to be somebody that says things, if you're going to be like a Matt Wall who doesn't play those games necessarily, you just kind of have to embrace the fact that there's going to be people that are going to hate on you or call you names to belittle you in some way or say that you're part of the bad faction, right, uh, or something evil. I mean, people get really hysterical about this kind of stuff to the point where, like, when you're well-meaning in good faith, um, 
you know, you're almost too vulnerable. Like people will start to take advantage of you. You see this happen with people all the time that are basically kind of like the nerds, you know, the people that are kind of clueless, aren't on top of the kind of social media discourse. They'll say something and then everybody will be like, oh my God, you know, kind of throwing rocks or whatever at them. Uh, metaphorically listening I'm talking about actually throwing rocks but like you know and and then they're kind of shocked because they're like wait a minute what are you talking about like of course I wouldn't mean it that way uh so there's kind of like a clueless nerd aspect to it too particularly when you get into the academy but at this point I think everybody's very much aware of what's allowed to be said and what isn't allowed to be said when you're treading on that that ground that's deemed inappropriate or that's deemed not sufficiently adhering to the kind of political obsessions of the day. Uh, it's been going on so long now that I think most people are pretty well aware of it.